Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to get right into the video on how to add a an outline to your stickers. So I'm going to first start a new file and change my dimensions. I'm just showing you here how you would change them if you don't already have like a recent item. Like mine, the 2100 by 2100 pixels. And then you want to set your resolution pretty high and set it to CMYK color because you do plan on printing your stickers, so that is the best setting. And I'm just showing you here how you can name the preset and then just save it there. So once you have your canvas open, you're just going to go ahead and select your PNG file you want to make sure that your artwork doesn't have a background and you're just going to go ahead and drag it in here and right now you'll see what i mean by it not having a background so usually a png file can have a background but usually you want it to have a transparent background and you can only do that with the png file so here it is it adds another layer in photoshop and Photoshop automatically gives you a background layer, so you want to go ahead and turn that off. And now this is what I mean by it does not have a background. So it's just the image itself. And usually when you cut stickers or put it into a cutting software like Cricut or Silhouette Studio, usually people like to add the offset in there, but I like to design my stickers and sticker sheets to already have the outline so I don't have to hassle within the other softwares. So here I was actually looking for another setting that I saw earlier in another video, but I couldn't find it. So I just decided to end up doing it the way that I normally do it, which is by adding a stroke. So, so if you go here to effects, you have to make sure the layer is clicked. So the coffee maker layer is chosen, as you can see with the gray highlighted mark. And then you go to effects and stroke. And then I like to move it to the side so that I can see how thick the outline is. And here you can see a white border. I think I tried to zoom it in right here, but um, it wasn't zooming in. So um, there's an the outside border inside. I'm just showing you the different ones. I ended up going with the center border so that if there's anything any like blank spots within the image it'll fill that up but i normally go with an outside border um, before this sticker i did go with in a center border and then you would just adjust the size to how thick you want your outline to be and then click ok so as I zoom in here, you can see the actual white outline that would, uh, once you put it into a cutting software, the design software, that's where it would cut around instead of the image. Um, here I'm just adding another layer and I placed it beneath the coffee maker image. And I like to do this even when I do an outside stroke. Um, I usually put a bright color in the background or a color that is not within the image just to make sure that there's no blank spots within the sticker or the image because if there was I would put like a white paint mark or a square or some kind of shape to fill in that area. Here's my bright background. And I just kind of zoom in to see, and I'll turn off the stroke, and then I'll turn it back on. So once I've seen that, you know, there's no places to fill in, I'll delete that layer. And to export your image, you just go to File, Export, and click the Quick Export as PNG. And my computer is really slow, so this takes a while. Um, and then you just want to name your image, and I'm just going to name mine Coffee Maker Example. 
and then it's going to say .png and you go ahead and click save. And that's it. Once it's saved, it's going to be ready to use for any cutting software and you guys will see that in a future video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.